Hello everyone. Welcome to Hydropower. Today we will be discussing about the components of runoff river and peaking run of river hydropower project. So, first off all let's list out the highlight area of hydropower projects. One headworks. Two waterways. Three powerhouse. Four transmission line. Five protection works. Now let's list out the components of hydropower projects. The components are diversion structure slash weir, flood wall, undersluice, intake, gravel trap, gravel flushing, approach canal, settling basin. Sand flushing, four bay, head race alignment, surge tank slash surge shaft, pen stock pipe, anchor block, saddle support, powerhouse, tail race, control room, switch yard, transmission line, switch yard. Now let's describe all those components on brief. Diversion structure slash weir, a structure is built along the river to divert a portion of the water flow into the canal. Flood wall, a flood wall is a protective barrier that prevents flooding by diverting or containing flood waters. It's built along rivers or coastlines to safeguard communities and property during flood events. Especially these structures are constructed at intake area and powerhouse for the protection of project structure. Undersluice, an undersluice is a water control structure in dams or reservoirs that releases excess water while keeping the flow underneath the dam. It's used for flood control, irrigation, power generation, and water management. Intake, is the structure where water is taken from a river or stream and directed into the hydroelectric power plant. It is a critical component of the project as it governs the flow of water into the power generation system. Gravel trap, a gravel trap is a basin filled with gravel used to capture sediment from runoff and prevent erosion. It's part of storm water management systems. Gravel flushing, gravel flushing is a process that cleans and maintains gravel beds in gravel trap by releasing water to remove sediments and debris that are deposited in the gravel trap. Benefiting aquatic life and ecosystem health. Approach canal. Approach canal in hydropower is a channel that divert water from gravel trap or any other structure towards the powerhouse or other structures like four base slash settling basin etc. ensuring a steady flow for electricity generation. Settling basin, settling basin, also known as a settling pond or sedimentation basin, is a structure designed gravel trap to remove suspended solids and other pollutants from water before it is discharged or further processed. Sand flushing, sand flushing is a process to clean sand beds in settling basin by releasing water to remove sediments and pollutants, promoting a healthier aquatic environment. 4-bay, also known as a 4-bay tank or 4-bay pond, is a reservoir or basin located upstream of a penstock alignment or other water conveyance systems. It serves as a preliminary storage and settling area for water before it enters the main components of the power plant. Head race alignment, head race alignment is the planned route of the waterway that carries water from the intake to the turbine sand in a hydropower basin ensuring efficient water flow for maximum power generation. The alignment can be of pipes or tunnel or canal. Surge tank, a surge tank is a water storage reservoir in a hydropower system that absorbs and controls pressure fluctuations caused by changes in water flow.
Penstock pipe. A penstock pipe is a large, high pressure pipeline used in hydroelectric power generation. It plays a crucial role in conveying water from a surge tank water source to the turbines. The high pressure water flow through the penstock pipe drives the turbines, generating electricity. Anchor block. An anchor block is a heavy concrete structure used to securely powerhouse anchor and support structures or equipment, preventing movement or displacement due to external forces. It stabilizes structures like walls, poles, or machinery and ensures safety and reliability. Saddle support. A saddle support is a U-shaped structural support used to securely hold and stabilize cylindrical objects like pipes or tubes. It ensures even weight distribution and prevents lateral movement. Powerhouse, the powerhouse contains turbines and generators. The diverted water from the canal is used to turn the turbines, generating electricity. Tail race, after passing through the turbines, the water is returned to the river through the tail race ensuring minimal impact on downstream river flow. Control room, a control room is a central location within a power plant, where operators monitor and control various processes and equipment. It serves as the nerve center of the operation, providing real-time data, insights, and control interfaces that allow operators to manage and optimize the processes efficiently. Switchyard, in electrical power systems. The term switchyard sending end refers to the location within a switchyard where electrical power is sent or transmitted out of generator the substation to the power transmission network or the next point in the electrical distribution system. The sending end is the starting point of the transmission line or power cable that carries electrical energy from the substation to other substations or distribution points. Transmission line, transmission line, also known as a power line or high voltage transmission line line, is a structure used 132 kV single large quantities of electrical power over long distances from power generation sources to substations, distribution centers, or directly to large consumers. 132 kV a transmission line tower. The transmission lines can be further categorized based on their voltage levels as Low voltage transmission lines, voltage range, typically, between 1 kV and 33 kV Medium voltage transmission lines, voltage range, typically, between 33 kV and 99 kV High voltage transmission lines, voltage range, typically, between 100 kV and 230 kV. Extra high voltage transmission lines, voltage range, typically, between 275. Switchyard, switchyard receiving end refers to the location within a switchyard where electrical power is received or delivered to the substation from an external source such as a power transmission line or another substation. The receiving end is the termination point of the transmission line that carries electrical energy from the power grid or another substation to the substation switchyard. Thank you. See you in next video.